Okay, so in this tutorial, I would like to explain what a maximum interval is, how to change your maximum interval, and why you might want to do so. Uh, so first of all, let's say that we're studying Japanese. We've got a deck here. If you hit this icon, you go to Options, and you go to Reviews, you'll find this setting, Maximum Interval. Uh, so by default, it's set at 36,500 days, and for all intents and purposes, that's infinite. So... Uh, okay, let me explain what, well, first of all, we just need to know what an interval is. So the interval in Anki is how long it will be until you will see a card next. Uh, so the way Anki normally works is if you get a card correct, if you mark a card correct, the interval will increase. So first you're seeing a card every three days, and then every eight, and then every 15, and then every 35, etc. Um, so... So yeah, and this setting, the maximum interval setting, allows you to set a maximum on that. Uh, so, for instance, if your maximum interval was 90 days, any card that you review, no matter how many times you've gotten it correct, you will not see it any later than 90 days from then. Uh, so then the question becomes, why would you want to set a maximum interval instead of keeping it just at this absurdly high number, why would you want to set it at something like 90 or 365? Uh, so it comes down to trial and error, but for me personally, there has been there have been cases where I was studying a subject and I found that this type of information that I was studying, I would just have a lot of trouble retaining it for more than, let's say, six months at a time um, at certain stages in my study. Once you really get good with a subject, you should be remembering things for a very long time. But early on, sometimes I'd find frustrating situations where I just constantly forgot a certain type of information if it had been, let's say, six months or more since I had reviewed a card. So I actually found in some cases that it would be very helpful to, I mean, not with every deck, but just a certain deck which I was having a problem with, I would set the maximum interval at, let's say, 90 days. But again, it comes down to trial and error. Um, and this would mean any information in that deck, I would review it at least, I would review any given card at least every 90 days. And then later on, I might increase it. But anyway, this just gives you more manual control over how Anki is showing you cards. So anyway, I hope that was helpful.